The Proyocu Report, Volume 1, Episode 16, Multiposition Pictures. With the Otani experiment going on up in Hokkaido, the fighters are looking to have their super rookie both pitch and play in the field. There's a lot more than just marketing research going on in seeing if the kid can do it. The thing is, it's fairly normal at the high school level. It's the same in Japan as it is in North America. The pitcher is often the most athletic player on the team, batting number four and playing in the field when not on the mound. But at the professional level, this is extremely rare. But has it always been so? I mentioned my interest in this question to a few people and said that I thought there used to be a lot of players, especially here in Japan, who both pitched and played fielding positions. Didn't Best Show do it, I'd ask? They'd think a bit, and all of a sudden they wouldn't be sure either way anymore after declaring that it wasn't so. So, after looking it up in my baseball encyclopedia, Best Show did, in fact, play multiple positions from 1942 through 1951. After that, he became a full-time pitcher through his retirement after 1960. So, I'm not imagining this. Using Gary Garland's data warehouse at http colon slash slash www.japanbaseballdaily.com I was able to identify 213 players with batting data who pitched and played a different position. Such data contains players who started out as pitchers, like Takuro Ishii of Base Stars and Carp, but converted to fielders after a couple of years. And it also includes those who went the other way, converted from fielders to pitchers, such as Ron Butler, who you may recall from the Foreign Catchers 2 episode, that was episode 1.07, of this very video podcast. Now, it would seem that a majority of such players fall into this category, during the two-league era, which started in 1950. Nonetheless, while I'm still gathering data and verifying it, a pattern is starting to emerge. First, pitchers often held three or more positions, pitcher included, from 1936 through 1949, the single-league era. But since the two-league era started in 1950, the number quickly dropped, although some held pitching and a single other position for a few years thereafter. As I said, I'm still combing through the data, so this report is currently incomplete. But the sample of data that I have verified so far, just over 10%, strongly suggests these findings. I plan on coming back in a week or three with my conclusions. With regard to the Otani experiment, it would be prudent to note that Otani sprained his ankle this past week, fielding a foul ball while playing in right field in a farm game. Now, does this act as a strike against the idea of pitchers playing multiple positions? I'd like to hear from you. And I'd also like to hear your ideas about why pitching specialization emerged in the first place. Is there something more that I should be looking into in regard to this shift? And now it's time for the Pocket Calendar. This week's Japan Baseball Weekly Podcast will be out tomorrow, April 15, at the usual places. Jim interviews Docton's new foreign player, Andrew Jones. The two then discuss the Eagles and dabble a little bit about the Buffaloes. They then turn their attention to others who are in the 2,000-hit pursuit. Be sure to tune in for what is always a good, informative show. The next quarterly Tokyo Sabre meeting is this next Saturday, April 20th, 
at Shiba no Tori Daiichi in Tokyo, starting from 3.30 p.m. Iso Chiba, the prolific writer for Shukan Baseball and former head Pacific League statistician, will be giving a 20-30 to 30 minute presentation about his American Spring Training Tour. He's always fascinating to listen to. A question has been raised about how the new WBC sponsorship works. It is hoped that someone attending the meeting may give something more than just speculation on the topic, which may be added to the program. If you are in Tokyo and would like to attend, please let me know and I'll see what can be done to get you in there. If you know of any other upcoming Pro Yaku related events, I encourage you to join the Pro Yaku community on Google Plus and let us know there. For example, the next blogger get together will most likely be this fall when Newman's son from NPB Tracker is visiting Japan. And with that, I submit to you this week's Pro Yaku report. Thank you for joining me. As always, take care. <laughs>